Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys this cute little DIY macaron. It's a perfect gift for a present, whether it's Christmas or anything. So, let's get started! The things you're going to need is some air dry clay. This is from Nikki and it's very good because it is air dry. And you're going to need four main colors. You need blue, yellow, red, and most importantly, white. And you also need a working surface. It's better if it's a um, smooth one because you're going to peel out or not the dry, the clay would dry on it and then you kind of peel out. I'm using this side because this side is messed up. And of course you also need some toothpicks. You're going to use the blunt, the rounded side one, not the pointy side. But if you don't have, just break it into half or just cut it to half. Let's get started. So first you need to mix up the colors and because I'm making a pastel team, I'm going to mix my color to the light blue, light pink, light green, almost kind of minty green, and light purple. After you're done, it should look like this. Oh. Put it to the back. So I have light blue, light pink, green, and purple. So first, to go dough, I'm going to play it's the same thing, and separate it into half. Make sure it's the same size, it does not adjust it itself. I'll be back later. After you make two round sheets, flatten it out a little by pressing on the top, and then you see a blunt edge of the toothpick. And then starting to push the dough down and drag it out like this. It's okay if it's like this because later we're going to push it in back. Then just make it all around and make both. I'm going to show you one here please. Okay, it looks something like this. It looks like a flower or the color of the jam. Now use the toothpick again. Now use the sharp side and then push it up. It's okay, it's, there's a little bit of imperfection because this side is supposed to look like that. And then if you don't really like the side trick, just do it again using the shop side. And if you want to make it a little more realistic, just put some holes at the, the crumbled edge to look like a real macaron. Just like this. And now you have something like this. And repeat for the others. This is how it looks like after I'm done, and now let's wait for it to dry before we start the next step. While waiting for it to dry, you need to take more white air dry clay and separate into four. It's, you can make more or less, depends how many macarons you can make. And then you just take one up and then just flatten it out. This is going to be the icing. 
and make sure to make it bigger because you want the size of the macaron you want the cream you want the icing to be invisible then just repeat for it all And this is not need to be perfect but because you're only showing the outer edge, you're not showing this part, you're only showing this part. But it depends on you. You can make it prettier or just yeah. Uh, okay now it's time for the assembles. Okay, now how to assemble is super easy. You just take one, I use green first, and then just take your icing and put it on the top. And then of course you can just push out a little bit again. You can just push out a little bit again so it can be visible at the outer edge. And then just take another one and then sandwich it. Sandwich. Just squeeze a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And ta da! You got a non edible macaron now. Is it written as macaroon or macaron? I'm not really sure. Now just wait me a summer finish and I'll show you the finished product. And now here is the finished product. Ooh, it's so cute and it looks like it's edible but it's not. Look at how pretty is this. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see more of this uh, air dry clay crafting video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below and give me some suggestion what can I do for my next video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.